All right, here's another tip to save some money this year. Went to Walmart and bought this big ass tub to put change in. And as you can see, it's already got quite a bit of change in there for only being, you know, a third of the way through January. And there's a lot of dollar coins in there as well. And then the change we had left over from last year, we went ahead and rolled up. And that's what we're going to do once this thing gets filled. If it takes us all year to fill it or if it takes us 10 years to fill it, we'll just leave it in there until it's filled. And then over here, I took this coffee cup. And when I find older change, <coughs> I always look at it before we put it in here. This is the cup I put the older change in. Mostly nickels. There's like one penny and a couple quarters in here. But this is 1930s up to 1960s change that I'm holding on to obviously if it's older than that i'll keep it but anything from like 64 on down is what i put in this cup just on the off chance you know i like silver and if you follow my channel you know i collect it so constitutional silver works just as well as the silver rounds and bars and american silver eagles i'll take this too so just another little tip and idea you know you go out throughout your day spend cash and get change come home it don't necessarily have to be anything this big but you could start off with a coffee cup or a coffee can and use that and just my philosophy go big or go home so there it is and that'll be added to it but separate when i say coffee can i'm talking like this this is what i put the stuff that we already had rolled one for quarters one for nickels one for dimes and one for pennies just to keep them separate because it takes a long time to separate that crap so just another tip and idea. There's plenty more out there. You come up with your own variation. You use mine, adjust it, tweak it. As long as you're saving money, it doesn't matter how you do it. Just save because you never know. You're going to need that rainy day fund or you might need something to, you know, your check doesn't come through for whatever reason. You need gas money. You just never know. So I urge everyone to at least have a thousand in your checking account, a thousand in your savings. And then whatever you can put off to the side at home. All right, until next time.